Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood of the Proverbs? My name is Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video all about how to grow your hair without oils. Do you have a hair growth goal that you've been trying to reach? Does your goal seem unattainable? My hair growth is a combination of what I put in my body due to my body and due to my scalp in particular. But would you believe that 70% of those things are actually not oils? For those of you who have an aversion to hair oils and scalp oils, or those of you who simply want to expand your hair growth potential, this is the first video in a two-part series all about how you can grow your hair and maximize your hair growth without oils. And all of the things I'm going to highlight are backed by scientific evidence. So stay tuned and let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what things you use to grow your hair. Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones and anyone who needs help growing their hair. And last but can never ever be least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Please guys, don't skip the ads because they help keep my channel sustainable. If you love me and want to support me, please do so by watching the ads all the way through. So let's get into the video for real. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Efikzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at Efikzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. The same way topicals are used to improve the quality of the skin on the face and body, they not only improve the quality of the skin on the scalp, they can also bolster hair growth, thicken hair strands, increase hair follicle density, and so much more. We're going to focus on nutrient-dense topicals that will change your hair game. And all of these are actually ones I've dipped and dabbled in or I use frequently. They're extremely effective and many have reported success when applying these techniques to their hair care regimen. Be sure to check out my apparel on my Selfie store and get 10% off with the code ZSTAR. You guys will really love what I have to offer you and I'm super excited to share it with you all. Number one, plant gels, aka plant mucilage, also known as botanical gels. Botanicals, gels, and juices are terms we use to describe plant mucilage. Popular mucilage plants that we make use of in the natural hair community include, but are not limited to, aloe vera, barberry fig, flaxseed, okra, and bunu, and many more, of course. The mucilage and mucilage-rich plants is full of enzymes, sugars, carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins, and many more beneficial nutrients and compounds that are superb for nourishing the skin and the body. For example, aloe is rich in proteolytic enzymes that help to exfoliate the scalp chemically and remove debris from the pores. These enzymes also reduce inflammation and exhibit analgesic properties. As the proteolytic enzymes are removing dirt and debris from the scalp and the follicles, this allows the hair to grow in unobstructed. This means that the hair is not blocked and it's able to grow in at a faster pace. Proteolytic enzymes also allow the very beneficial properties of the aloe to reach more deeply into the scalp. This boost of beneficial nutrients also encourages rapid hair growth. Barberry fig contains 17 potent antioxidants amongst other enzymes, vitamins, and minerals that slow the aging process and reduce oxidative stress. Okra is rich in magnesium, which helps protect the skin from external damage by regulating cellular regeneration and repair. These are just three plant gels and a few of the incredible properties that they exhibit. If we were to actually sit here and talk about plant gels for real, we would be here until next month. I have extensive information about the many benefits of these plant gels, as well as potent gel preparations in my recipe Bible, which you can get via the link in the description box. I'll also link it in the cards to the right. It's currently on sale for 20% off. And there I talk about how I prepare these plant gels. With this public you can access these properties from the comfort of your home. Here are some reviews from people that have already purchased the books. 
you can pause to read all of them. Now if you are wash and go gel, these gels can also double in the gel step of your wash and go. They're multi-use and multi-purpose. You can also use them as a pre-poo or a deep conditioning treatment, even a leave-in. Some of them even have saponins which allow you to use them as your shampoo step. If used in a way that is well informed, you can actually use these gels for your entire routine. Not only that, but you'll continue to reap the benefits of the many nutrients in the gels and see increased hair growth as a result of that. Number two is hair masks. Ayurveda, developed more than 3,000 years ago on the Indian subcontinent, is one of the world's oldest alternative medicine systems. It is predicated upon the belief that health and wellness is dependent upon a delicate balance between mind, body, and spirit. The goal of Ayurveda is holistic health and wellness, though there are treatments geared towards specific health problems and concerns. In the context of hair care, Ayurvedic herbs serve various purposes. They serve to nourish, detox and cleanse, stimulate, hydrate, and strengthen. Now this is a rough breakdown of a few Ayurvedic herbs. There are many, many more, and all of them aid in hair growth and or the reduction of hair fall and hair loss to varying degrees. Amla, for instance, has 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. 5-alpha reductase is the enzyme responsible for converting testosterone into DHT. So its inhibition means less DHT and transitively less male and female hair loss that results in male and female pattern baldness. Amla also has the ability to increase hair follicle count, darken natural hair, and reverse grays amongst many other incredible properties. The vitamin C, of course, is a potent antioxidant present in Amla that encourages collagen production and neutralizes free radicals. Using the Amla as a mask allows the vitamin C to release more effectively because it is soluble in water. When used in the context of a macerated oil, the vitamin C is not as present because vitamin C is not oil soluble. Now I've highlighted only one Ayurvedic herb because there are so many and all of them do incredible things. My glossary in my recipe bible goes over dozens more. I also have an abundance of hair mask recipes in my recipe bible, which again is linked in the description box below as well as in the cards. I've been able to maintain my scalp and hair by making use of these unique recipes and each of them targets a different hair concern. In my own publication, I focused on growth, hydration, scalp care, and much more. Each recipe features complementary ratios that work in tandem with one another to restore, revive, and refresh the hair. Now another potent type of mask that is one of the best kept hair growth secrets is the clay mask. Now there are many types of clays. They are excellent for deeply detoxifying, deeply nourishing, and replenishing the minerals and nutrients in the hair and the scalp. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining to you what clays are about because what we're trying to focus on is their mineral content and the effects that they have on hair growth. Many of the clays we as naturals use are rich in silica, magnesium, and other potent minerals like iron, calcium, and potassium. Again, magnesium helps protect the skin from external damage by regulating cellular regeneration and repair. It is also anti-inflammatory and anti-dandruff, along with having the ability to break down calcium deposits that are the result of hard water. It is also a very important part of the protein synthesis process. And I mean, hair is literally made of protein. It is made of keratin. Silica is also another key feature of many of these clays. And we're going to go into what's so special about it on another screen. So now I'm going to share a bit of information about silica and why it's relevant when we have conversations about hair growth. Please be sure to pause to read. Now, if you all would like some more information on the types of clays that you can use in your scalp and hair, please drop some red emojis in the comment section down below. I'd be glad to go over the many clays that are available to us to use to not only detox our hair and our skin, but also bolster our hair growth. Number three is hair tea. Now, what we commonly call teas are actually infusions or tisons. A true tea is made from any part of the Camellia sinensis plant. 
When we make these infusions, we are actually extracting the beneficial properties of the plant. The resulting liquid is a solution that we can use to nourish our scalps and our hair. Now, the scalp is more permeable than the skin on the face and on the body, so active ingredients are able to more readily penetrate the scalp. This means that these extracted nutrients are more able to be used by the skin on the scalp. Some of my favorite teas are made with rosemary, hibiscus, horsetail, and nettle. Rosemary in particular is proven to be roughly two times more effective in the treatment of hair loss than the drug minoxidil. It is astringent, stimulates hair growth, and is a potent antifungal that helps to balance the scalp's microbiome. I use rosemary on my scalp almost daily and have seen incredible results. Generally, I focus on the tea recipes in my recipe bible, rotating them depending on my hair needs, but I've been stuck on the recipes that include rosemary for a few months now. Again, I can't go into too much detail in this video because I don't want to be long-winded and the benefits are innumerable, but if you all would like some hair tea recipes in video form, please drop some orange emojis in the description box or rather in the comment section down below. I'd be glad to make that for you. And of course, you can get them in my recipe bible. Teas are a great way to get the benefits of an oil infusion without the oil. Some of these nutrients are more soluble in water, so you're actually going to reap the benefits in a more profound way with a tea. Now for the best benefits, I personally recommend combining Finding the use of a tisane or infusion with an oil infusion. I have plenty of oil infusions in my recipe bible as well and I have a video actually that I just dropped on my Ayurvedic oil, extremely potent, and it's linked in the top right corner. You all can check that out. And of course, if you don't use oils, you can still use these teas on their own. They're incredibly potent. So number four is hair growth serums. Now, a hair growth serum is a water-based product with humectants, extracts, and or peptides. These scalp serums are not only made to balance the scalp environment, when they have the added benefit of growth, they are specifically formulated with scientifically proven growth materials. Those include, of course, extracts and peptides. Like proteins, peptides are made of amino acids, but peptides are much smaller chains of amino acids, typically comprised of 2 to 50 amino acids. Peptides are more easily absorbed by the body and more easily broken down because of their size. Therefore, they can make the amino acids more readily available to be used by the body. As amino acids are the building blocks of protein, this is extremely beneficial and super important for effective hair growth. Extracts such as rosemary, eucalyptus, and other potent raw earth materials work to actually boost and bolster hair growth. Just like with face serums, results are not immediate with the exception of added moisture. However, long-term use on a clean scalp will definitely yield favorable results. Number five is hair elixirs. Hair elixirs are any manner of concoction or decoction that can be applied to the hair and the scalp to stimulate hair growth. Some great examples include onion juice, eggs, rice water, and potato juice amongst others. I'll discuss one of these a little bit later, just to give you guys a taste. <laughs> Many of Earth's flora are rich in potent compounds, nutrients, enzymes, and much more that exhibit super properties when applied topically and or ingested. Science has made brilliant strides, but we still cannot fully comprehend the potential that the raw earth materials have to boost our vitality. In the natural hair community, we make use of a lot of vegetables, tubers, and other earth materials to create concoctions and decoctions that actually have beneficial effects on hair growth and length retention. One of the most popular is onion and onion juice. One of the reasons why the onion is so effective is because of its extremely high sulfur content. Now we're not going to go into detail about what sulfur can do in this video because I have many videos about sulfur, which I'm going to link in this playlist to the right in the cards. It's also going to be in the description box down below. You can open the playlist up in another window and check it out after you finish viewing this video. Now onion also has other beneficial properties, some of which I'm going to highlight in the following few clips. I'm sharing a page from my recipe bible for you so that you can view the benefits of onion. Please be sure to pause to read. Number six is henna. Henna is actually my holy of holiest 
grails, y'all. I have two potent recipes and I have them both in my recipe bible, of course. I've been using henna for years. Now henna is three pronged. It thickens the hair strands, aids in length retention and actually stimulates Grow. The former to it accomplishes with the loss tone, which is able to bind to the keratin in the hair, not only depositing color, but making the hair strands thicker and strengthening them. Now, because it has unique properties, it is a permanent hair color. It's nearly impossible to remove. And if you try to remove it, you could actually completely destroy your hair, especially with bleach. So if you actually insist on using henna in your hair, just know that it's going to remain there and be very certain that that's what you want to do because the removal process is not something that I would recommend anyone attempt. Now, henna has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, anti-parasitic, anti-dermatophytic, antiviral wound healing, immunomodulatory, hepatoprotective, tuberculostatic, and protein glycation inhibition properties. Henna is really one of the most potent herbs in Ayurveda, and it's easily one of the most well-rounded. It does everything, and if you have not added it to your regimen, I highly recommend it. If you struggle with hair growth, if you're having issues with hair fall, then it's definitely something you might consider if your hair is thin and you want to thicken your strands naturally. This is an immediate way to do that, not just from the strands themselves, but also from your follicles. Number seven is to exfoliate your scalp, period. Now this is extremely important and it's also extremely overlooked. If you at all want any of these treatments that I've highlighted to work very effectively, you need to make sure that you exfoliate your scalp. Now, a lot of people focus on physical exfoliants, which indeed are very, very effective. But as somebody with sensitive skin and as a skincare junkie, I want to focus on chemical exfoliation because it has the potential to dig deeper and really remove debris and dead skin from inside of the hair follicle. When the follicles are not obstructed, you may find that your hair actually grows in thicker and faster. This is because they're not being inhibited by anything. They're actually free to thrive. Some chemical exfoliants include salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, and many others. Now, these are really great for someone with sensitive skin because you're still exfoliating your scalp and maybe even more effectively than you would with certain physical exfoliants, but you're not causing any abrasions or being rough. Now, if you all want a dedicated video on how I incorporate chemical exfoliants into my routine, please drop some purple emojis down below. In the meantime, I'm going to highlight some really fantastic chemical exfoliators for the scalp in the description box down below. Since I've incorporated chemical exfoliants, I've seen my hair and my scalp go from great to flawless, truly. That was ultimately the missing link for me in my own regimen. And I observed that my hair was growing much faster and it was much more responsive to the many treatments I was incorporating. There's no debris, there's no dead skin, there's nothing blocking the extracts and the potent minerals, nutrients, and enzymes that I'm applying to my scalp. It's the same with skincare on your face. If you're not exfoliating your skin chemically, chances are the potent actives you're using on your skin are not penetrating as deeply as they have the potential to. What I would advise you to do this year and onward is to actually treat your scalp the way you treat the skin on your face. Since I started approaching that way, I've seen my hair absolutely thrive. Well, thank you all for watching. We've made it to the end of the video. Fantastic. If you made it this far, you know what to do. Drop a blue emoji in the comments below. Thank you all so much. Please don't forget to purchase my recipe Bible. Everything that I've highlighted today is inside that publication. And I take all of these things very seriously because I've seen a positive effect in my own hair growth with these tips. Now, before we leave, please again, be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite section of this video was and let me know what you use in your hair regimen to grow your hair that doesn't contain oil. Even if it does contain oil, let me know. I'm curious. Let's make this a nice forum as per usual. Of course, be sure to share this with your friends and your loved ones and last but can never ever be least, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.